Good morning, guys. another vlog i'm trying my best to not look and sound really sleepy right now but the fact of the matter is i am it's 10 am so it's not really early and i didn't even sleep very late i i slept before 2 <laughs> i know i i don't have a really good sleeping schedule a year at home but i was just working on the second goa vlog edit and it ended up taking what is this squirrel i don't know i don't even have my glasses on <laughs> I think I saw a squirrel in the garden, but I have seen squirrel there before, so it's not outlandish. Anyway, even though I slept really well, still feeling super groggy. Tea is going to help uh, with waking me up today. But it's just made, so it's very, very hot, and I can't take big sips yet. If you watched yesterday's vlog, you'll know that the cats aren't with us today. So today it's just the three of us at home, mom, dad and me, no cats and that's sad. I explained the whole thing in my previous vlog but since we are leaving on a vacation we kept them at like a boarding place. Today I have a few last things to do before I leave for my trip. One of which is getting a haircut, a very very long overdue haircut because my hair has needed one for a long time. But that's what long overdue means, right? I'm, I'm senselessly repeating myself. Uh, my ends are really damaged. So I think I'll end up cutting off like at least a couple of inches. I do want to grow my hair sometime. But right now I just need to get it a little healthy again. I'm not colouring it also for some time for that very reason because I colored it in Feb and the bleaching that I am damaged it so I just want it to be like nice and soft again before I can think of growing it it's probably not the greatest idea on my part to vlog today because things are so chaotic but I decided that I'll take my time with editing this so that's the reason that um, maybe you're seeing this video pretty late because I'll probably edit it when I'm actually on my vacation. Time is of the essence today so I am going to continue with my breakfast but I will pop back in really soon. Final Cut Pro is the program on which I edit like all of my videos and it is considered to be one of the best editing softwares out there but it's still pretty damn temperamental and I had a lot of issues with editing this vlog but right now you can see the progress bar says 73% so I think I solved whatever issues I was having last night and it's going to export successfully okay in our cab now all dressed up I actually put on my face but mm -hmm. I didn't bother with my hair because we are going to fix my hair anyway. And you are also getting a haircut, right mom? Yes, correct. So what else do we have to say? Do we have to say anything? Oh, we didn't like really... We slept west. Yeah, we did. But we missed the larger ones, of course. Yeah. The morning disturbance was not there. Yeah, so. no one was like pawing mm. at your feet or your face trying to wake you up to give them wet food. So we didn't even realize, right? We totally slept in because usually we don't have to set an alarm. Uh, the cats wake mum up, but today we had a good sleep. Mm -hmm. I have about three stops to make today. Um, like so, there's a haircut and two other places. Some of you guys must have noticed my shoes. I think I own. How many shoes do you think I own? It's about thirty. I don't think it's thirty. 20 more than 20 okay somewhere between 20 to 30 pairs of shoes and for the last few months i think ever since monsoon started i've been wearing like the same pair all the time it's these pair of native shoes they've lasted so well i started using them at some point last year so it's like they're more than a year old and actively using them i've 
worn them while I'm traveling. I've worn them during the monsoons in Mumbai, and they're really, really nice. They're so comfortable, so easy to put on that uh, when I get to like the main door where most of my shoes are kept, I end up just slipping these on. And I wore them throughout my Goa trip also. I think even Sherin commented uh, on the shoes in the vlog that they are one of my favorites. But the Goa trip was the one that really put it over the edge. It like it now they look like thoroughly well worn. There are a few scratches, scuffs, and there's this. Though they're washable shoes, the, they've become like a little like brown tinted because of uh, the reddish brown mud in Goa. I think it would be finally time to retire them, which makes me pretty sad. But I just bought a pair of new native shoes. Uh, they are not exactly like this. They're a little different. But I am kind of excited about them. They're not as easy to put on though. So I think I will show you those shoes when I go home. But I just wanted to do a proper tribute to my current native shoes because they are not the cheapest but they are so comfortable and I feel like they are really really worthwhile shoes and I am glad I bought them. My mom also a same pair of the native shoes like the ones I am currently wearing. Um, same design, same everything but like one size bigger for her. We have a slight variation in shoe size. She hasn't worn them yet, right? No, the single size. Um, because she is weirdly averse to closed shoes. She likes <laughs> Maybe that's my signal to stop vlogging now. <laughs> Don't think I have much to say anyway. So just waiting to reach the salon. Is that an out of station train is just stalled on car subway? Which is very strange. Yes, I am at Affinity and you already know Shefali. <laughs> she is my stylist. I've been coming to her for cuts for like two, three years at least, right? I don't remember how long, but two different salons. Yes. <laughs> okay, another great haircut from Shapali. Thank you, Shapali. <laughs> Guys, check out mom's hair. This is really, really short. Turn, turn. Show us, mom. This is the shortest you've been in a while. I love it. You like it, right? Very much. You wanted short hair. So, Vinita here did your hair, right? And this is like the second time Vinita has cut your hair also. Nice. At Walk Express for lunch, but mom is too busy with her phone to look at the camera. <laughs> what is that game you're playing? Seek and find. Seek and find. This kind of looks like Candy Crush, a little bit. Yeah, but this is a different game, but it's a Seek and find. Okay. We just ordered a bunch of stuff for lunch. I've been to Walk Express many times, but I think when it just opened, we vlogged here, right? Yeah. That was maybe a couple of years ago. I think we have a very small table at home, our uh, poster, Selma. So our cats were tiny. There will be a vlog, I'll link the vlog, but I came here when it just opened. And our cats were kittens two years ago then. Two and a half maybe? Yeah, more than two years. And we've been there here a few times over the years. So we're back now and trying out some new additions to the menu as well. Food is all here and I just spent like uh, 15 minutes I think with mum taking a picture of me for Instagram. Not bad right? Now we're going to dig in. These are two custom woks. One is Khausoe and I think the other one is Teriyaki. Some new crispy chicken dim sums. Prawn tempura and one of my favourites, bubble tea. We were really feeling the appetizers here. They're pretty good, right? Very nice. Very nice. You enjoyed the prawns especially? Prawns are always my favorite. And the new uh, chicken um, dumplings also were really good. Those are a new addition, super crispy. Now we're going to try the Kung Pao potatoes. Like, how pretty is this? So cute. Hey. Hi. Just quietly walking 
along the sidewalk and mom suddenly stopped me and pointed check that out guys he's, he's really close to us now he's not a cat mom why are you calling him like a cat look at some food yeah everyone's hungry <laughs> One of these stores on Linking Road, the one on the right, actually burnt. Like it looks burnt, right, Ma? Yeah, very definitely. But it's very ironic because it's right next to a fireworks store. I don't know. I see some humor in that, however dark. We went to Body Shop to pick up a few new launches. I'll just show them to you as soon as we reach home because they're like three different ranges technically. Two are from the ranges and one is a standalone product that they've just launched. And yeah, we've had a good day I think. Everything went smoothly. It took a little longer than expected but that just happens in Mumbai. Uh, now we're finally on our way back and I'm feeling a little sleepy and a little stressed because I haven't even started packing. Have you started mom? Sort of. I've kept my things together. I just have to place them nicely in the baggage. Yeah, I think once I start, it will be like an hour's work maybe. You are always a last minute packer. You're not that much better, okay? I'm better than you. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> so, I am just going to make sure to get that done. I always put mm -hmm. off packing for last minute and get so stressed but when I actually do it, it it doesn't take long so I should do it like soon after I reach home I think look there it's Motu Patlu if you read BuzzFeed there was just a gigantic article today on how those two characters from Nickelodeon Motu and Patlu have become an international meme it's crazy <laughs> can't stop touching your hair right it's feeling so soft and we never manage to style it as good as the hairstylist style it. Always. Never happens. <laughs> so you should just enjoy this for a bit. Back home right now and sitting in like my favorite balcony spot. I'm just going to apologize in advance. If I sound a little dead, I'm just tired. I usually don't make apologies about myself or my appearance or something because they're counterproductive. But I like to be happy and enthusiastic on this vlog, at least as much as possible. And I feel really dead and sleepy. I've been saying this all day today. But there are some things that I want to show you guys, a little bit of show and tell before I wind up today's vlog. There are a few things that I've gotten recently. Most of them have been given by brands. I just got this earlier today from the body shop. Um, but I bought these shoes and let me quickly talk about them. The first things that I want to talk about are three products that I got from this brand called Dr. Shades. It's an Indian skincare brand, a new one. Now I haven't used either of these. There is uh, this youth enhancer so it's like a sort of an anti-aging cream. There is this basic brightening extra gentle daily peel which exfoliates, brightens and repairs your skin. And inside here, um, there is the basic brightening sheet mask. Now, I cannot speak about Dr. Shades yet from my experience because I don't have any experience yet. But I did read really, really good reviews about them. And though they're new, they've been kind of making waves. So they did send me this stuff, but this is not a sponsored mention. They just got in touch and asked me if I would like to try products. A couple of things right off the bat that have really impressed me about this brand is firstly it is founded by dermatologists there's a lot of scientific backing with the ingredients they put into these products because as you learn a little bit more about skincare which I have been learning in my years as a beauty blogger you realize that a lot of mainstream brands especially like the drugstore brands when they come out with skincare products those products really have bad ingredients in them which might not be good for your skin or might make your skin worse. Not only does this have really good ingredients, this product is also paraben, sulfate and cruelty free. This product is paraben free, sulfate free, Jane and vegan and it's also non-toxic. And the best part is that everything is formulated especially for Indian skin. 
because Indian skin just kind of comes with its own issues that other races might not face. So everything is made with us in mind and they don't have any whitening products. They just have brightening products if you have like dark spots or uneven skin tone but they do not have any fairness things and that's why I'm really excited about trying this brand out. They've also kindly offered a discount code to you guys so I'm gonna put it down below. You can buy anything you want on their website and if you use the code Dr. Shades X Magali you will get 10% off and you can please wait for my full review on these things. Now this is a goodie bag that I got from Pons I guess. There's some Hershey syrup which you can use for hot chocolate. I think this is a scarf. So Pons has released a new product under their white beauty line and it's a winter anti-spot moisturizer. So this is the product and these are a few little goodies. On to the things from the body shop. Let me quickly show these to you. So I think it was last year. Yeah, early last year like in summer. I had done a product review video on my channel which featured many products from their Spa of the World line. So they've added some more products into the Spa of the World line. This is the French Grapeseed Scrub. And this is the Thai Makrut Lime Firming Oil. That is one range. There is a very interesting new hair care launch. Let me just take these products out. This is the new Fuji Green Tea hair care line. So this is the hydrating conditioner for normal hair. This is the purifying shampoo for normal hair. But the most interesting of the three products has got to be this. It's the Fuji Green Tea Cleansing Hair Scrub. So this is for normal hair and scalp. And apparently if you have any like build up or just dead skin on your scalp or anything on your hair. Uh, this is supposed to be like a nice gentle exfoliant. I've only gotten hair and scalp scrubs one or two times in my life. And that's always been as part of like an extensive hair care process like that I get done in a salon. I think this is the first scrub that I've seen that you can use at home. I love the scent of this line. It's kind of minty-ish and very fresh. I don't know exactly. I can't pinpoint the fragrance but it's really nice. Final product I have to show you guys from the body shop is the Amazonian Saviour Multi-Purpose Balm. So this is just one of those balm salve type things that you can put on any stubborn dry areas of your body or whatever. And one of the main ways that they've advertised this is they said that it's really great for tattoos. And as you guys know, I am pretty significantly tattooed. I have a tattoo video on my main channel in case you're curious on what exactly my tattoos are. So I'm looking forward to trying this one out also. Finally, I mentioned earlier today that I had bought new native shoes. I think I bought these from Mintra. Native shoes are also on Amazon, but I think Mintra had a larger selection. These are the Apollo Mock shoes. Like a lot of native shoes, they are unisex. They are a male 5, but a female 7. Are the shoes themselves. Now I've just tried them on. Not really worn them properly, but I've fallen in love with them. And I know that they're going to be super, super comfy. So the whole thing of the Apollo Mock is it's supposed to be like a cross between a sneaker and a moccasin and if you can see it the whole silhouette sort of looks like a sneaker but you don't wear these with socks they're really really soft and this is a water resistant fabric so you can wear these to the beach you can wear them in the monsoon you can wear them on like light treks they're not serious trekking shoes but if you're just going to be facing different terrains like little bit of water, a little bit of uneven land, they'll be perfect. And they have an extra grippy part, the front and at the back and they're so so ridiculously light. I had my eyes on these for a few years and I always 
stop myself from buying them because they are a little steeper than the other native shoes but I managed to get this coral red one at a slight discount not a big discount just 25% off and it made it a worthwhile purchase I really really like these they are available in a few different colors but I think I have a lot of orangey red things in my wardrobe so this will get a good amount of views and if I really enjoy wearing them I might buy them in another color like say grey or something. The show and tell is all done. I talked so so much. I think I just got tired of listening to my own voice. That is about all I have to say for today. I have to get started with my packing and all that. So I am going to say bye right now. I will be vlogging on my Goa trip of course and I will be working to create content for my main channel and all of that stuff. And I will see you all really really soon. You won't even know that I'm gone. I think I'll be back home very quickly. Like one week is going to pass like anything. Bye bye. I showed you guys that my export was almost done in the morning but I think I jinxed it. The export failed again. And right now it is 2 minutes to 11 p.m. at night. And I thought I'd show you that my export is finally finishing for Goa vlog part 2. It's at 95 so it'll get done soon. And for some reason I just find this picture really hilarious. It's just like an unintentional screenshot from the video. But I look really upset or surprised. I don't know. But you'll know the context of my face when you actually see the vlog. It'll be out really soon. Or it might already be out when I put this vlog. I'm not really sure. Good night.